It's a really exciting uh, project to work with Total and Tyrop. It should be a cutting edge project for us. It's the first time we're going to deploy a robot offshore uh, that can work autonomously. The goal is to have a robot um, do visual inspection to gas detection, leak detection uh, to be more precise. Um, and do all that without the person needing to drive it around. We want to place our robots, who so far have only performed their duties in lab environments or uh, onshore demonstrations to an actual offshore productive site. This is going to set a new benchmark in terms of hardware, in terms of ATEX certification, in terms of software reliability and robustness, in terms of cloud computing and, and processing, um, so on many different fronts. For the safety aspect, we are going to take um, people out of dangerous environments. We are not going to substitute them by robots, but we are going to take them out of their dangerous zones. Robots will um, constantly perform uh, maintenance jobs, constantly perform inspection jobs, and therefore we envision that uh, breakdowns and failures would occur less often. There's been no robot proven in the field like this. So yes, we've developed the world's first autonomous uh, terrestrial robot for routine inspection in oil and gas, but now we need to prove it in the field. We need to deploy it in the field and scale up from a competition site to uh, an industrial-sized uh, plant. This is very exciting for us, actually, to make this next step in bringing this technology closer to a real market use, making a difference on future oil and gas sites.